Hello everybody. So I'm going to talk through vector projections in this video and we'll give you an understanding of, um, you know, from the basics of, um, of trigonometry, how vector projection can be kind of intuitively uh, be thought about. All right. So first let's make um, a triangle. I'm going to make a right angle triangle. And there's something unique about this right angle triangle that this hypotenuse length is, is one unit. Right? Could be one centimeter, one meters, one kilometer, for example. Um, this side I'm going to denote by y, and this side I'm going to denote by x. And so, if you think about it in kind of co coordinate uh, geometry, um, this point is going to be x comma y. Right? Now, let's think about um, how we can introduce trigonometry. Um, with respect to this uh, right angle triangle. I know this angle is theta, so I can now talk in terms of cos theta. So cos theta is nothing but adjacent upon hypotenuse, and sine theta is opposite upon hypotenuse, okay? And with respect to this uh, angle adjacent is x and hypotenuse is just one unit so it's going to uh, so it's x divided by 1 which is equal to x so cos theta is equal to x similarly sine theta so the opposite with respect to this um, angle is y and y divide that by 1 because that's the hypotenuse length I'm going to get y so sine theta is equal to y cos theta is equal to um, x so then uh, this uh, point uh, becomes um, cos theta comma sine theta right so just have this idea in, in your mind and um, and i'll progress further and kind of relate um, to this um, idea so now think about um, uh, two vectors i'm going to call this u I'm going to call this as I. Um, this is uh, one zero, so that is one unit in x direction and zero unit in y direction. And this point right here, I'm going to denote by um, cosine of theta and sine of theta. Right? That's um, that's the uh, point right here. And now. Um, if you remember the dot product. So a dot product between any arbitrary uh, vectors is um, written like this. So V1 W1 plus V2 W2 um, and so on and so forth till Vn Wn. So imagine these um, V is has components like V1, V2 and so on till Vn and W has components um, W1, W2, so on till Wn. And so essentially what we're doing is we are multiplying uh, each of these components and then adding them together, right? That's what we're doing. So if you take this um, example and multiply the unit vectors u, i, uh, we're going to get cos theta, multiply that by one, plus I'll have sine theta and I'm going to multiply that by zero. Of course anything multiplied by zero is zero so what we're left with is cosine theta. So u dot i these two vectors unit vectors when multiply dot product of these two unit vectors is equal to cosine of theta. Now how can we um, take this idea of multiplying um, unit vectors to any kind of vector right? So imagine uh, let me take this example again which is v dot w. These are two arbitrary um, vectors. Um, now, in order to translate this problem um, to, to unit vectors, um, I can multiply uh, v by its length. I'll let you explore what, uh, what, what I mean by length, um, you know, how we compute this. Um, but I'm going to just write it here in this um, in, in this in, in this video, so and then I'm going to um, divide W by 
um, the length. So now these two guys, uh, V, um, so this one and this one, these both are unit vectors, right? Now we know when you multiply two unit vectors, uh, that's equal to cosine of theta, so we know that. So now this is our formula, okay? Just keep this in mind. Now, now we are going to enter um, into a place where we actually start looking at projections. So imagine that there is these um, vector v and vector w, and I'm projecting v onto w, right? Um, so I'm doing that. Um, the The idea is when I project v on w, um, my projection will be in the direction of w. Okay, that's really important. So imagine that I have um, a source of light, right? And here's a stick figure uh, like this, and its shadow is casted on the ground. Now the only way to change um, the size of this shadow is, uh, and if he if he is stationary and the, and the source of light is stationary, then the only way to uh, to change the length of, of this shadow is I, if if the stick figure moves. Uh, leans forward or leans backward, right? So, um, so the first thing that is important here is the angle when it comes to projection. The other thing that is important here is it's the it's the length of the stick figure. So that's the length. Now, um, if we come back to this example, which is um, v and w, so projecting v onto w, uh, what we can say is, is if you're projecting v onto w, then we need to first consider the angle, right? So the angle between V and W is given by cos theta, right? And the other thing is, is the length. So I'm gonna multiply um, by length. So this is going to be V projection onto W. So if I'm projecting V on W, um, that is equivalent to uh, multiplying the angle uh, with, with the length. Now, we know something about this. Um, we've already computed what the cosine formula is. So that's nothing but um, v dot w, so that's a dot product. And I've got v here and w here. So I think you, you can guess what's really happening now. And then, of course, there is um, the length v. And so this and this is going to cancel out. So now what we're left with is v dot w um, um, and w, right? Now this is the scalar form of v um, projection on w. What we actually need to know is in which direction is this um, kind of projection is, right? So we know the projection is in the direction of, of w, so we need to get the vector projection. So now to get vector projection, it's pretty simple. We will take v dot w um, and length here and multiply this with the unit vector of w, right? So this is a unit vector in w, so this is in, in the direction of w, we know that. And this we can kind of write as v dot w, um, w um, length squared and multiply this by vector w. And that's your vector projection, okay? That's a vector projection. And now let's kind of take an example of how we can compute this. So I'm gonna probably do an example here, right? So let's imagine I've got v as, uh, as zero, one, and four, and I've got w, as 4, 4, 2, 4, 4, and 2. And so I'm projecting V onto W. So the formula is, again, V dot W, um, W squared, I multiply that by W. Okay, so that's the formula. So if I What's v dot w, all right? So that's four into zero, uh, so that's zero, four into one, that's one. So that's four, and four into two is eight. So eight plus four, right? So that's 12. 
what's the length squared? So the way to take length squared is uh, you square this, which is four square, um, four square again, and two square. So that's 16 plus 16 plus four. Um, so that's equal to um, 36, okay? And then I'll take the square root of 36, um, which is going to be six, right? Um, so, so let me just write it down so that it's easier. Um, so I should say, let me just compute um, I think I said at the top that I'll let you um, compute the length, but I'm going to do it anyways right here. Um, so what we're saying is I'm going to take 4 squared plus 4 squared plus 2 squared, uh, which is going to be equal to square root of 36, which is equal to 6. And we know in the formula we actually square um, the 6, right? So that's equal to 36 again. So I've taken 6 and then squared that. So that's 36. If I multiply that by the vector w, um, what we get is 12, 36. So that's 12 and so 1, 12, 3, 36. So I've got 1 third um, and w. So that's 4, comma 4, comma 2. And so my vector projection is going to be, so this is our final answer, 4, 3, 4 divided by 3 and then 2 divided by 3. That's the final answer and that's your vector projection. And so we are done. Thank you.